Good morning, YouTube. This is Kelly Love from Cincinnati, Ohio. I am in zone six and I'm just out looking at all this hard work I put in to change the landscape in my yard. When I first moved here, there was nothing but a bunch of trees and weeds along my property line, but we cleaned it out to move, clear out some stuff several feet from my actual property line. I believe a lot of this is easement, but I put posts out to represent my property line and it goes all the way out past those trees. It's like a hill that you walk down and it's just beyond what we can see here. And I've got a rope here that represents the rest of my property here. And I actually moved it over two feet. I moved it in two feet just to allow my neighbors more room in case they need a piece of equipment to come in but I didn't give it to them I simply moved the rope to allow them room so no I have not given them any of my property I just did this as a courtesy as a, a neighbor to give them a little room to move because my property actually goes two feet to the right and it's two it's five feet really five feet from the, the edge of that post on their fence and then it comes back here in kind of a diagonal way back into the trees. But there's like a creek type dip down here behind all these rusty metal pieces I had back here. I've got this fencer back here for later for when I need to use it for something. But I'm not going to do anything with that. I'm basically going to fence probably right in front of these trees here along the lines there. Um, everything to the left this is all man and it goes all the way up caddy corner to my plants in the front and back here there's a creek area that runs way down in there but i'm only going to be fencing in probably this area right up in here and of course i got some posts out here where the fence will run across there to those posts and to the back end of my house where i live we can't have front fencing but I'm definitely going to put some fencing back here. Um, hopefully to try to keep some of these creatures out of my yard. And um, hide some of the foolishness back here. Because I don't really like it. I like the woodsy look with the trees. But I just don't like the weedy thing that goes on. And right now, I'm just trying to clean it all up. I got to fix my pathway up here. I got a bed that I made a little smaller up there and I've got hydrangeas in there and some other miscellaneous things. I literally planted some sunflowers this not too long ago and they're growing, but I got to fix the walkway and then fix it to connect to this pathway here. I put it in kind of bootleg, but once we added step, you know, entries onto the deck that we didn't have, I needed to make a flat walking space. So I just dug, scraped the ground down to make, put my old papers down to make a flat space to walk to meet this area here. Still have a lot of work to do, but I've been slowly working on this entire yard, mostly by myself. From time to time, my husband comes out and he'll help me maybe dig a few weeds because he can't do anything strenuous and he is actually on a disability. So he's had kid he has kidney problems. So I spend a lot of my time out here working on my yard, constantly dividing, multiplying, collecting plants. I try to get everything free I can possibly get. I have people that give me things. I try to buy a lot of things um, clearance so that I can just fix them up and get them healthy again. So my yard is taking a little time, but it's slowly getting there because when we moved here, it was just grass. Nothing was over here. It was just flat grass all the way up to the front. So I've slowly changed a lot of things and I'm still working on it. But I spent so much time digging weeds out that it kind of sets me back. But I'm slowly trying to trench certain areas to, to create a nice little interesting garden area. Again, some of this is going to become um, garden area for vegetables. This part here, I'm going to find a way to maybe put a a little tree or some ornamental type tree and some other miscellaneous things. I wanted to get that pompous salad, but that's gonna be a huge chore, so that may just stay there. The peppermint reed grass, I love it, but it's growing like a slow running bamboo. 
I've had it for several years, probably about six years in it. That's as far as the spread so far, but I don't want it to keep creeping into my garden area. So I got to figure out what to do with that. I'm thinking of just putting a post up and having somebody dig it out that likes it and coming to get it. I don't know what to do, but I love it. I, I'm not ready to part with it yet, but we'll figure it out. And I'm going to clean this part up here between this pompous grass and this tree and put like a little find some pieces to put a cement get a cement uh bench like right over here and i'm gonna clean this down like kind of carve it down so it's a nice easy walking spot because it's a little uneven and just make it so that you can just easily walk around here and come down and that's my picnic bench got that for free on facebook marketplace this area is just where i throw my little miscellaneous junk here in the back until i need it I'm eventually gonna clean it all up, but I'm just glad to be able to come back here, walk back here and even set anything here because this was all full of trees and weeds and bushes and vines and thorns and just poison ivy and everything. And we finally cleared it out. And I'm so happy because I love the shady area. Hopefully this tree lasts me for a while. I love this tree, but I finally got my shade garden so I could take all of my plants and put them in here. So, over here, I am edging this part so that I can turn all this into a flower bed area. And I need to finish edging it, and I'm just going to curve it a couple feet behind that pot so I can separate this garden area from my trees out there. And it's taking time because it's hard digging and then pulling all those pieces of uh, grass up or side or whatever you want to call it big giant divots that I had to kind of throw off to the side so anyway I have a tree here that I moved the, this tree here um, it's I think a pasilla I just grabbed it because it was on clearance and it was pretty cheap and I just yanked it up but it used to be right next to the peppermint grass so I dug it out the other day and what I did was turned it over and discovered there were no roots at the bottom of it so i've been wondering why i was looking crazy and it's kind of bald here because i cut some of the limbs off so it wouldn't struggle so anything that didn't have the blue growth on it i just cut it off and i had to lay it down on the ground knock all the dry dirt off and i was amazed that the dirt was bone dry because it had rained and rained and rained and i had watered this thing galore but the dirt was bone dry I mean, it was bone dry. So I knocked it all off of the roots and discovered there was hardly any root under the bottom. All the roots were across the top from the trunk. So I decided to use a broken handle from a shovel that I had and I just cut it and I stuck it down in the ground towards the roots. So instead of watering it from the top, I'm hoping that the tree will start to get roots from the bottom but before I put it in there, I soaked it for a few hours in some miracle Grow water. And I went ahead and poured that water at the bottom and put the tree in. And then I water it. Since I put it in, I watered through this little pipe right here. And once I think it's growing out and I see some new uh, leaves and things on it, what do you want to call it? needles on it and branches, I'm going to take the pipe out. So right now, that's what I'm doing to try to bring this back to life. But I'm happy to see that there's blue on there because it's supposed to be that color. So hopefully over time, this whole thing will look better. So I hope it's happy with me. Anyway, I need to fill all this in with more dirt so that I can clean this up and mulch it over and make all of this look nice in this area. Eventually, I do plan to fence across the back of all of these including my trees down there but this area here where you see the grass has been killed i kind of sprayed the grass in the bed area just use some foam foam weed killer and i'm gonna kind of pull that out or chop it off but i wanted to get it down and i got a weed use my trimmer to clean all this up until i cut the grass but i need to finish digging this trench and i'm gonna dig the trench all the way around here so that about this space here, that here, and I'm gonna just bring it right on around so that it can meet the trench that I dug and make this like its own little bed over here. 
with all of these things here so I can separate it from the trees that I have planted. So there's a lot of weeds. Yes, I got a lot of weed pulling to do, but I'm happy that I'm getting some of the things out here I've been wanting out here. Uh, I divide plants. Sometimes I buy things and I'll get double plants in it, so I'll divide them and I'll stick them out. Some things I'll just propagate. I'll do some cuttings and make new things. Some things I buy clearance, but every once in a while I have to pay full price. So I try to get everything as cheap as I can because I have a lot of yard to fill up with plants and this is just the back. So I got my little, that's my plant hospital back here under those two windows. That's my kitchen and the bedroom. Well, not actually that was kitchen and dining room, but I made it into a bedroom right there. And that's my kitchen. So anyway, I had the stairs added as we repaired the deck and we didn't do anything fancy. We just added the steps and railings so it'd be easier for me to tend to my plants and get to my holes coming off the deck on that side and then added steps here. And the original one platform, there was no railing at all in, on any of this as far as the coming off the deck. There was those railings there that existed, but they were wobbly. So we had steps put on because we knew having those posts put on and those pieces put together, it would fortify everything. So everything is nice and tight and strong now. We're just doing that until we decide to get a better deck. But right now, that's what we're working with. This is my little tropical island here, just my little banana island where I had uh, put a banana tree back here. This used to be something else, but I made it bigger and I decided to just put my tropical looking things in here. So I got my banana tree growing pups, my elephant ears, um, store about online stuff. It's in pots and it hasn't come up at all. These elephants here, they grew in pots and I transplanted them into the ground and they're doing great. This is Japanese bloodgrass with it. I've had this for many years and all it takes is two, two or three sprigs of that and it will multiply and it will thrive. But you have to kind of tame it because it'll spread. But it spreads kind of just moderately. It's not too bad, but um, I love it. So right now I just need to keep the edges clean on this bed and I need to re um, mulch it because we had to dig a lot of weeds out and my husband took the little the little weed cloud, whatever it is, the little thing that you stick down and turn it and it lifts the chunks of dirt up to get the weeds out. So it's a little messed up, but I'm gonna fix it. He helped me, so that's all I'm concerned about. I have so much, so much to do. Oh my God, I have so much work. I don't have help. I don't have a partner. I can't always afford to pay people. I am not rich. I do not have a whole bunch of money, so I do all that I can do on my own to do all of this and it's taking so much time but i'm hoping next year it'll be a lot more fine-tuned and looking the way i want it to look so by the time i clean this up and mulch it and put some type of border i have some random um landscaping rocks kind of i'll say like medium-sized rocks that i can just pile around the edges of that just to separate it from everything else I'm hoping to have an ar uh, arbor here where I'm gonna have an arbor right over here. My son is a welder, so he's gonna make it for me. Then I'll put a couple pots here on each side and find something that'll trail up around it to lead into the shade area. And if, depending on what we get, maybe he can make me one for this side too. And on this side, I'll probably just put a cute little bench or something in there to sit and clean all this up. So those pots are gonna be moved and I'll shape it pretty much the same as this on this side except you won't have too much space to walk because once i put a fence there there only be a couple feet to walk behind this bed but i think a, a little bench or something in there would be really cute or a fountain so anyway um this is what i'm doing it's a lot of work by the time you see another video it'll be transformed again so if you happen to watch my videos i appreciate it if you like anything that you see I am not the best camera person. I am not the best TV personality at all. I'm just out here making a video diary of what I'm doing in my yard because I love what I do. And believe me, I spend so much time. I can't even sleep at night. I get up and I come outside and I walk in my yard just to check on my flowers and to 
see if I can find the critters that are out here digging and everything and make sure everything is fine. I cannot help myself, but I love the beauty of all of my plants and what they do for me. And I am going to end this video now. So next time you'll see more and it's gonna be even better the next time. So if you could, could you please subscribe to my channel? Could you please give me some likes and help me grow my numbers and it's not all about trying to get some money. I just want to do some video diaries of what I'm doing out here. But it would, it would be great to have some people following what I do. And if there's some questions about what I did, how I did it, leave those questions. And when I check, I'll answer them as much as I can. And uh, so far, it's going to be easy because I don't have a lot of subscribers. So right now, I'm just enjoying what I'm doing enjoying being able to step out into my home and make my home a paradise and this is the mission i'm on so you all have a great day thank you for viewing see you later bye bye